Greetings, Eric Backer, naturopath, author of Candida Crusher. Thanks for checking out my video today. How is Candida diagnosed? How do we know we have it? How do we know we're not just imagining we've got this disease? You know? I think the best way to diagnose chronic Candida particularly is a stool test. I think it's the ultimate way. There are different ways you can, you can test for Candida in the body. You can do uh, blood testing, for example, for particular antigens, Candida antigens in the body. Uh, you can do what we call organic acid urine test to look at metabolites, certain products broken down in the body that tell you if Candida has been there. Okay, there are different ways we can test, but I think the ultimate test uh, is the comprehensive digestive stool analysis test. Three samples, three concurrent days. Um, I work with um, a couple of labs. If you go to ericbacker.com, um, you can find out you know more about testing there. I work with lab, a couple of labs in America. My favorite lab is Doctors Data in uh, Chicago. Um, I tell you why I like the stool test is because it doesn't doesn't tell me if the patient's got candida or not. It tells me a lot of information. It, they do a really good microbiology panel to show me the level of beneficial bacteria, what we call the commensals and the bad bacteria. So the beneficial bacteria should generally in a healthy patient be a, a three or a four plus behind the, the, the beneficial. Many people in fact have a, a zero like NG, nil growth or one plus. The commensals are bacteria that can turn good or bad. Healthy people have got no commensals or very low levels. People with severe candida can have you know nine, ten different strains of commensal bacteria. And the pathogenic ones are the nasty ones. These are the terrorists of the gut. I call the commensals the politicians of the gut. They can change, go good or bad, depending on you know what's happening around them at the time. So you've got the good guys, the politicians, and the you know ISIS militants or the terrorists. So these guys are downright nasty. So you don't want to have those in the gut at all. So this is a culture, okay? So they actually try and grow these uh, these bugs in the stool. They do a microscopy as well. So they actually uh, macroscopically, so they look at the stool to see if they can see any white spicules or candida there. They also try and culture the stool for yeast. And I've seen, you know, anything up to five or 10, even 15 strains of candida grown in stool samples. So if just imagine if you've got low beneficials and you've got um, candida albicans cultured in all three stool samples, it's quite bad. That's a serious yeast infection. So when you pass out a stool sample, you should not be able to pass out any viable live yeast. If you can culture uh, candida from a stool sample, it means you've got active growing candida in the stool itself, which is pretty serious yeast infection. So the other thing I like about the stool testing is the fact that we can look at the uh, immunology of the bowel. We can look at what we call the secretory IgA, which is an immunoglobulin A, which is one of the most abundant immunoglobulins or antibodies found in your whole body. The body makes a couple of grams of it, one to two grams of it per day, uh, and it's you'll find it in the stool in, in set levels. So if we find the levels very high or very low, it will give us an idea that you know, you've got serious immune activity happening in the digestive system. The body's trying to bind to things and take it out. So if it's very upregulated or downregulated in conjunction you know, with these bacteria, it gives me a lot of useful information about you, what's going on in your life. We can even do a, a cancer uh, marker in the stool so we can see how high your risk is for bowel cancer, if you've got a risk there at all. Um, you know, there are many other, other things we can look at. Uh, they also look at fat stain, for example, and um, they check for fibers and meat fibers and things. So they can see how well your digestive system is working to see if the enzymes are breaking things down properly. It's very important um, for good health to have very good digestive function, to break down food properly to the smaller substrates that allow the beneficial bacteria to feed on those things and thrive. We need to feed them up. So fiber to me is like compost in the garden, okay? We know that if you've got a vegetable garden, you know, I've got a nice veggie garden, so I'll put compost in there, I'm going to grow good vegetables. So if the soil's barren and there's no compost in there or no food, we're going to grow crappy vegetables. Now your health is the same. Lots of good fibres, different types of fibres in your bowel allow beneficial bacteria to thrive. Keeps gas down, keeps bloating down. And these beneficial bugs produce things like vitamin K, for example, and B vitamins that, that sustain good health. So it's important to have you know, these, and the stool test will assess all of that and more. Isn't it amazing? 
So this is how I like to test patients for candida, is I like to do the CDSA times three. It's a stool test. So that's a good test that you might want to consider if you're interested in candida diagnosis. So I hope that gives you a bit of insight into how to diagnose candida. Okay, Keep away from these cheap budget tests, you know. Um, go for the stool test, it's the best one. And check out my home tests. You'll also find some um, videos I've done on the several different home tests. Uh, the spit test, the tongue test, the taste test, the sound test. So you can see all those videos as well. It's all no charge at all to do the home testing. Stool tests cost money, but it's the Rolls Royce of tests. And um, I do several of them every week on patients all around the world. And it helps to solve problems. Uh, some patients have had you know, these conditions for 10, 20, 30 years, and the stool test will, will, will just throw it all up and say, this is what's wrong. It allows me to pinpoint the treatment for that client. So I hope that answers your question. Thanks for tuning in.